everybody been too long welcome back to ultimate rc events uh haven't posted in a while been very busy i do apologize we want to get more videos out uh, and we will be getting more videos out um quick updates for you um this video is about our jet drags so we've been promoting that to people set it to be out this is the video so if you want to see uh everything about our jet dragster this is the video to watch real cool clip at the end where um, a good friend of mine, Brett, runs his dragster. Quite a unique one, quite a powerful one. Watch right to the end to see that dragster as well. And an update, the radio-controlled push-the-limits boat, the 150-kilometre-an-hour boat, is going to be back in action. So uh, we're in Melbourne, Australia. This is winter time, but we're going to winter run. That'll keep things nice and cool. We're not going to make the same mistakes we've made, so the boat is back. Um, controllers are back. There'll be a video and update on all of that as well. Um, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you like, subscribe, and keep in touch with what we're doing. We don't post often, but when we do, hopefully it's content that you want to see. Bit of history about the dragster. It started off like this, just a square framed, uh, what I thought was really cool at the time. We built this one, um, that was first one, and then we went to our second design. Here is the cutout. Car, uh, timber actually cutouts for the new frame. You can see how much bigger it is. And this is after Waterjet Solutions cut it out. So this is the aluminium frames cut out, getting painted. Um, remembering there's dual paint jobs on this, um, a paint job underneath the actual frame section. Um, and then the frame put on time. That's um, wedging the two frames together. Here they are, all built. Uh, taking shape all the gear about to be put in wheels on front wheels on now we'll go to um, starting to see all the gear this is the test mock-up for the turbine first burn up um, testing and now you'll see a finished product that's the completed dragster with all the gear in it on the front yak scooter wheels kids love them um, but really good, running four bearings, it'll roll for days, not a problem at all. Rear spoiler, not normally on a jet dragster. Um, we did it for fun because people realise when they see it, it looks more like a dragster with the big rear spoiler, but a real dragster um, jet one wouldn't have the rear wing. Flying kangaroo is backwards, yes, we put it backwards on purpose for a bit of fun. Um, there's the Australian Aussie. Flying kangaroo, but it's backwards, as I said, for a bit of fun. There's the afterburner, done by a gentleman with the name of Brett Smith. I need to thank him. If he ever sees this video, I'm still thanking him every time I take this out. So, um, afterburner is a mid-range dump and burn, plus it'll do an afterburn to about half throttle, and then it cuts out. We designed it that way, um, not to put too much pressure back on the motor. The emblem, if anybody notices, is off Top Gun, so I uh, designed that off the Top Gun theme. It's a two twin layer sandwiched aluminium to um, three mil sheets wedged together to create a six mil um, outer shell. The dragster's not designed to do big runs. It's designed to be a bit of a show pony and show everybody how a turbine works. Uh, motor to deliver fuel, um, ECU. Uh, ECU, or well, the substation or the bus um, up there, ECU, main fuel tank, um, on off switch, pull and the thing turns on, motor for the afterburner, afterburner tank and the Jetcat P80 SD. This also has hydraulic brakes, it's a master cylinder and which delivers two twin brakes to the back wheels. Take this off. And there you go. Twin piston rear calipers um, to stop this awesome machine. People may notice it's a Baja front end off a HBI Baja and Baja rear wheels. Okay, what you're about to see is a uh, fire up of the dragster. What I um, did in this one though is I did a wet start you'll see there was a lot of kerosene in the back and when I fired this thing up there's a, a big ball of fire um, reasonably safe we've done this numerous times where there's been a wet start but uh, it's 
pretty spectacular. Not ideal, but it's not too bad. I'm running Jet A1 kerosene. I have to go to the airport um, to buy Jet A1. Um, but the drags is actually going to start on propane gas. As you can see me grabbing the propane gas right now. I'll put that in, plug that in. When I set the thing to go, it'll start on propane gas. And then it will switch over to kerosene um, once it gets to 30,000 RPM. Um, 30,000 RPM is idle speed. Um, full throttle on this uh, jet cat is 125,000 RPM at around 600 degrees Celsius at the exhaust. Here it goes, fire up 